they will be advised to learn all these different preparations and they can prepare them and offer them to the deities. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would appear at Panihati sometimes by his Abhirbha potency. Meaning he was not actually manifest, but he would appear and although he was in a faraway place, by his spiritual potency, he would appear there in Panihati. So, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would come there to Raghu Bhapani's house and he would take part in the festivities chanting Hare Krishna and being with all the devotees. We went there one time with Srila Prabhupada, must have been 1976. We went there to Panihati, I was staying in the Calcutta temple and Prabhupada had come and one man had came and said he wanted to donate land for Prabhupada. So we could have a temple there at Panihati. So Srila Prabhupada agreed to go there to Panihati to see the land. So Shil Prabhupada went there, he spent the whole day there. It was it was wintry time, it was uh, like January, the month of March, and you know there was, it was a cloudy day, cold wind was blowing across the Ganga. But Prabhupada spent the whole day there talking to the man about giving the land. And Prabhupada wanted to have the center there. Although that man, the, his, his offer did not materialize, but Prabhupada had the desire that we should have, try to have a center there. <laughs> So later on, actually not very long ago, just like five years ago, uh, His Holiness Bhakti Cheruswami who is not in this world anymore, but he managed to secure a land there, right at Panihati, at the very holy place there in Panihati. He purchased one piece of land and we have a temple there now for ISKCON. <laughs> So it's very nice that any time we have the opportunity we can go there to Panihati and we can offer respects and you can hear the pastimes which took place there. So yesterday was the anniversary of the day in which the most famous of all the events in Panihati took place and that is called the Shiradahi festival of Raghunath Das Goswami. 
அந்த திருவிழா நேற்று நடைபெற்றதாகவும் அதனுடைய நினைவு நாள் நேற்று Raghunath Das Goswami is one of the six Goswamis. Right? There's Rupa and Sanatan and Jiva, Gopal Bhatta. Then there's a Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, but this is Raghunath Das Goswami. Raghunath Das Goswami and Bhavar, Namadu Ar Goswami Gari Urvaravar. So Raghunath Das Goswami was not a Brahmana, he was not born in a Brahmana. But he was born in a very wealthy Bengali family. His father and his uncle were very, very rich men. They were so rich that they were maintaining all the brahmanas in Bengal by giving them charity. <laughs> Now the other Goswamis, Rupa, Sanatan, Jiva, Gopal Bhatta, Raghunath Bhatta, they are all Brahmanas. They are all Brahman families. Kivarin Tamakti, Rupa, Sanatana, Jiva, Gopal Bhatta, Raghunath, Kivarin Brahmana Kurumati, Prasavarga. At least by birth. They were Brahmanas. But Raghunath Das, he was, he was born in this wealthy family, but not Brahmana. But somehow, as a young man, he was very attractive. He was hearing about Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes and how Lord Chaitanya had done so many amazing things like defeating Keshava Kashmiri and then leading the civil protest against the Chankazi. <laughs> And then at the age of 24, he renounced everything and taken sannyas and gone to Jagannath Puri and there he made Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya. He changed him from an impersonalist to a devotee. Now, of course, in those days, there was no internet and there were no mobile phones. But the news about Lord Chaitanya and his activities was spread everywhere. So Raghunath was hearing about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he was thinking, I want to go and be with him, I want to join. And he was very eager to go and leave his home and several times he would run away from the home and his father would have to hire people to go and find him and bring him back. So he was a very young man, Raghunath was a young man at this time. And the family thought, well, let's get him married. So they found a very chaste, very attractive young woman and they got him married to this young lady. Our 
அவருக்கு திருமணம் செய்து வைத்தால் வீட்டோடு இருப்பார் அதற்காக சிறந்த கருப்பு கரிசியாகவும் அளவில் இருந்தவராகவும் ஒரு பெண்ணை பார்த்து அவருக்கு மனம் முடித்து வைத்தனர் இப்பொழுது நல்ல ஓர் மனைவி அவருக்கு இருக்கின்றது அதனால் அவர் மகிழ்ச்சியாக வீட்டில் இருப்பார் என்று அந்த குடும்பத்தினர் திருப்தி அடைந்தனர் He didn't change. He still wanted to leave home and go away to be with the Lord Chaitanya. And they thought, what can we do to keep our son at home? நமது மகனை எப்படி வீட்டிலேயே வைத்திருப்பது என்று அவர்கள் திட்டமிட்டனர் So they were thinking maybe we we'll just get some ropes and we we'll tie him up. The kind of guy that the our little cutie boy Poma, he really loves to do that. But this, the family said, well, he has a wife as beautiful as the goddess of fortune, and he has wealth equal to Kuvera, Kube the treasurer of the demigods. And if these two things can't keep him at home. மகாலட்சுமின் and ragnath went to see lord chaitanya mahaprabhu akkalathil avaru ragnathas to swami avargalude oorukku arigil sri chaitanya mahaprabhu varai purindargal appozh avarai sandhippadarkaga ragnathas avargal sendra so ragnath came and he fell at the feet of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and lord chaitanya had heard that oh this is shrangana i heard about him he is the son of those two wealthy men and his father and his uncle were very rich people and he is their son i wonder what he wants avaru ragnatha stakku chaitanya mahaprabhu sendru avrudaiya paadangalai panithu vanginar appozhudhu sri chaitanya mahaprabhu oh idu ragnatha இவரை பற்றி நான் நிறைய கேள்விப்பட்டிருக்கின்றேன் இவருடைய தந்தையும் சுற்றப்பாவும் பெரும் செல்வந்தர்கள் என்பதும் எனக்கு தெரியும் என்று கூறினார் So what she tell you was asking Ragna you know you what is it what can i do for you what service could i do to help you and then Ragna told she tell you mahaprabhu i want to join you i want to come and be with you மகாபிரபு you know you get some people they want to renounce the world but they're not really ready for it adarke sri chaitanya mahaprabhu avaridam nini muttal tanamagavum paithiyakara tanamagavum nadandu poliyaga thuravaram perkalakoodathu ipdi pattavargal neraiya irukkirargal you want to renounce everything you want to give up all your connections with the family and with the world well you have to prepare for it you can't just do it abruptly you have to prepare over time and be convinced that this is really what you want nee thuravara merkonda vendumanal unnudaiya uravu uragalil irundellam vilangi irukka vendumanal அதற்காக முறையாக உன்னை நீ தயார் செய்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் when you are the young man you know 20 or 
25 years old, you may be thinking of renouncing. Yes, I think I want to renounce. But when you get to 14, 45, or 50, then you may think again about it. That, oh, I don't know if I want to renounce. I don't know if I want to renounce. So if you're a Buddhist, it's not a problem. You know, you can become a Buddhist monk and then you can give up being a Buddhist monk. But if you're in the Sanatana Dharma, if you're following the Varnashram Dharma, once you come to the renounced place, you don't go back. So we, we find sometimes like that, that when the man is young, he really wants to renounce, yes, I want to renounce everything. But then after some time, then he thinks, well, oh, I'm not so sure I want to do something. And they want to go into the material life. So Lord Chaitanya told Raghana, you go home and stay at home. And don't act like a madman. Don't be a foolish person. Behave like a normal person. And remember, Krishna is in your heart. Krishna is with you. So Raghunath went home and after getting these instructions from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he changed himself. He was just like a, a normal person. He wasn't behaving so extreme anymore and he was and all the family members were very happy and they thought, oh, Raghunath good now. Now he's a normal person. In the Uvadesa they get up a little, Ramana Dasa, Tam the Vidri Kitchen Ray, Yen the Tivira, Sailum Lamal, or Nudamana, Manidara, Vitil Nanda Banda, Ale Pati, Aurodea, Pudubatila, or Ramana Dasa, Ipur, the old Santa Manidara, Kirikin Rabbit, Manisha, and then. And Ramanath was, was very expert in dealing and helping the family. At one time there was a problem because uh, the, his uncle had done some, something wrong. He'd been cheating one of the Mohammedan rulers. And it was Raghunath who was able to talk very sweetly and convince the Mohammedan ruler not to press any charges against his uncle. Yeah. So this way Raghunath was staying at home and he was helping out with the family affairs and everything seemed very peaceful. He wasn't running away anymore. And then after some time, news came that Lord Nityananda is coming with his party of cowherd boys and they're going to go to Panihati. So Raghunath requested his family, can I also go to Panihati to see Lord Nityananda and get his so, 
ஸ்ரீ வித்யானந்த பிரபு தமது சகாக்களுடன் பணிகாத்தி ஊருக்கு வருகின்றார் என்று அவர் கேள்விப்பட்டு தமது குடும்பத்தினரிடம் அங்கு சென்று அவரை காண விரும்புவதாக கூறினார் And he got to Panihati and he saw Lord Nityananda along with his 12 cowherd boys who were always accompanying, accompanying him everywhere. And they were all sitting on the banks of the Ganga there, enjoying the beautiful scene of the Ganga flowing in Panihati. <laughs> அதன் பிறகு ரகுநாதாஸ் அவர்கள் பணிகாட்டிக்கு சென்று நித்யானந்தமா பிரபுவையும் அவருடைய பன்னிரண்டு கோபாலர்களுடன் சகவாசம் செய்து அந்த கங்கையின் அளவில் அவர்கள் கிளைந்திருந்தார்கள் people who were giving all the charity to the Brahmanas. So Lord Nityananda heard, heard about them. So Lord Nityananda said, Ah, Radhana, come here. Today I am going to punish you. Ivar Nityananda Pramuna Dasara Sandhita Udan Oh, Lee, Pramuna Dasara Lee, Oru Adhikamada தட்சணை வழங்கும் குடும்பத்தில் செல்வந்தர் குடும்பத்தில் பிறந்தவர் என்பது எனக்கு தெரியும் இப்பொழுது நான் உனக்கு ஒரு தண்டனை வழங்க போகிறேன் என்று கூறினார் நித்யானந்தர் ரகுநாதாசரிடம் நீ ஒரு திருவிழா ஏற்பாடு செய்து அனைவருக்கும் மாபெரும் விருந்து வழங்க வேண்டும் என்றார் So Raghunath was very happy to get this instruction from Lord Nityananda and he immediately arranged to get all the different provisions from the marketplace all the fruits and all the shira which is flat rice and the dahi the yogurt and all the bananas and the mangoes and the condensed milk all of these different things Raghunath was purchasing it all and he was going to make a big feast of flat rice mixed with dahi and condensed milk and fruits இது கேட்ட ரகுநாத மிக்க மகிழ்ச்சி அடைந்து சந்தைக்கு சென்று எல்லா விதமான பொருட்களும் பழங்களும் குறிப்பாக அவள் தயிர் போன்ற அனை மாம்பழங்கள் அனைத்தையும் வாங்கி வந்து அந்த அவளையும் தயிரையும் கொண்டு விதவிதமான பதார்த்தங்களை தயாரித்தார்கள் this time of the year 500 years ago they, they didn't have the chemicals to make mangoes any time of the year because they do nowadays but there's a there's a season so the mangoes are there at this time of the year and of course bananas are always there in bengal any time of the year and the dahi and flat rice very cooling because so hot so you take some nice flat rice mixed with dahi and it's very cooling and enjoyable in a very hot weather idu kodai ga ipozhudhu kodai kaalam adhum vangalathil mige usnamaga irukkindra kaalagattam andha apozhudhu maambalam idu maambalam kaaikkum kaalamagum 500 aandukalukku munbu maambalathai rasayanathinal uppathi seiyum காரியங்கள் எல்லாம் இல்லை மிக தூய்மையான மாம்பழங்கள் கிடைத்தன அவற்றை கொண்டு அவளையும் தயிரையும் கலந்து இந்த பதார்த்தங்களை தயாரித்தனர் கோடை காலத்தில் இந்த அவளும் தயிரும் கலந்து மாம்பழத்தோடு தயார் செய்வது 
உலகத்து மிக குளிர்ச்சியை தரக்கூடிய உணவு so raghunath das was purchasing everything and then you spread to the nearby villages other villages they heard oh there's a festival going on in panihati so they heard there's going to be prasadam for everyone so you know when there's prasadam everybody turns up you know everybody knows it's going to be prasadam so people were coming from nearby villages and the vendors were coming they were bringing their yogurt and their flat rice and their bananas and mangoes and everything and dragana would purchase everything from them ivvaru inda paniyatti endra idathil maavarum or thiruvula nadaikkaravirukkirathu endrai kelvi utra andai gramathukkarargal ellam inda thiruvula vil kadandu prasadathai unna vendum endru aaval kondanar adodu எல்லா வியாபாரிகளும் அவள் வியாபாரி பழ வியாபாரி தயிர் வியாபாரி அனைவரும் தங்களுடைய பொருட்களை கொண்டு வந்து விற்பனை செய்ய விரும்பினர் அவர்களிடமிருந்து எல்லா பொருட்களையும் ரகுநாதாஸ் அவர்கள் வாங்கிக் கொண்டார்கள் Uh, that they mix the flat rice with the yogurt and condensed milk and added the fruits and then we offered everything to the deities in the purple ela gangayil thuimaya kalivi avalai gangay neeril oora vaitte kayudan kalandu palathodan kalandu andha unavai avargal thayar seidanar there's a beautiful spot there right there on the bank of the ganges marking the place where this event took place and that piece of land actually now is right next to our iskon center in the vida nadai petra unmayana idam ondru andha gangai thalil amaitundathu ippozhudhu indha krishna bhakti kalagam vaangi irukkindra namadhu nilam andha idathukku pakkathil dhaan irukkindrathu it's a historic site because this is an event which took place 500 years ago with this event is recorded in the chaitanya charitamrita so it's a very important historic event that in it's in chaitanya charitamrita which is an important scripture in the bengali language in the idam or varlaattu purva vaayindha idam sri chaitanya charitamritathil இந்த இடத்தை பற்றி குறிப்பிடப்பட்டிருக்கிறது இது ஒரு வரலாற்று பூர்வமான சம்பவமும் கூட so they offered everything and then they began to have kirtan and when they were having kirtan everyone could feel chaitanya mahaprabhu appear in his avirbhav feature and chaitanya mahaprabhu was standing with lord nityananda and in this way everyone became ecstatic இவ்வாறு இந்த பதார்த்தங்களை தயார் செய்து பகவானுக்கு சமர்ப்பணம் செய்து விட்டு அங்கு கீர்த்தனம் நடைபெற்றது ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன மகாபிரபு தமது அவிர்பவ சக்தியின் மூலமாக அந்த கீர்த்தனத்தில் கலந்து கொண்டார் அனைவரும் சேர்ந்து மிக வேகாந்த நிலையில் கீர்த்தனம் செய்தனர் If, if you come to Kanyahati yesterday, you will see all the different people there. So many people, and they're giving everywhere. They're giving flat rice and and something not usually yogurt, but they give flat rice with sugar water or something. They distribute some kind of prasadam, and there's a lot of kirtan, and there's a lot of different people preaching the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's a very big festival every year. In the Edathil, over a hundred people are going to be in the center of the world. And they will see the Sankarai Kalanda, Avadai, and they will come to the world. Srapana Kirtana Melam Saivargal, and the Gila Gila Patriya Lam Pesuvargal. Ivaru over a hundred, and the Edathil, in the Parlaatra Purvamana, Gila Gila. அனுஷ்டிக்கப்படுகின்றது 
அந்த திருவிழாவின் பொழுது அனைவருக்கும் பிரசாதம் பரிமாறப்பட்டது முனிவங்களான நாய்களுக்கு கூட பிரசாதம் பரிமாறப்பட்டது அனைவரும் திருப்திகரமாக பிரசாதத்தை மிகவும் மகிழ்ச்சி அடைந்த நித்யானந்தர் ரகுநாதாஸ் அவர்களுக்கு நன்றி கூறி அவரை பாராட்டினார் அதன் பிறகு நித்யானந்த பிரபு அவருடைய மணி செலவுக்காகவும் பக்தர்களை பராமரிப்பதற்காகவும் அவரிடம் நிறைய பணத்தையும் வழங்கினார் very humbly submitted himself before chief before lord nichananda and he asked lord nichananda please bless me that i can get free of the material life ivare raghunatha sarvargal nityananda prabhu vidam panindu inda baudhiga vaalkayil irundhu naan vidupada vendum endra aashirvadathai valangal endru kettukonda So Lord Nityananda placed his lotus feet on the head of Raghunath Das, and he blessed him with, "Yes, very soon you will be free from your material life." Adan parige Nityananda Prabhu, kamade padatei uyerti Raghunath Das varile tarayil gaytte kudiye tarayil niyinda baudiye pandathilendu thevidu padu vaayetre asirvadam seeda. So Raghunath went home. and behaved like a normal person nobody really knew any big change in him but raghunath das was very careful and he was just waiting for the right opportunity when he could escape from his family life adan parage veedu thirumbiya raghunath das sir yaar sandhegapadatha vagayil sadharana manithanaga nadandukonda அவரிடம் ஏற்பட்டிருக்கின்ற பெரும் மாற்றத்தை அவர் மாட்டிக்கொள்ளவில்லை சரியான நேரம் வரும் பொழுது குடும்ப பக்கத்திலிருந்து விடுபடுவதற்காக அவர் காத்திருந்தார் the pujari has not come what are we going to do and so then raghunath volunteered he said i will go i will go and get someone to do the puja oru naal avargaludaiya kudumba pitragathai valipaduvatharkaga varigindra pujari andru varavillai pujari varadathanal eppadi valipaadu erpaduvathu endru kudumbathinar kanakkathil irukkumbodhu raghunath dasar naane pujariyaga puja seigiren endru kudina So it was early in the morning, and Raghunath Das got out of the house, and he immediately thought, "Now is my chance. Now I'm going." And he he went to go to Puri, but usually when he would go, he would go on the main road, so they could easily catch him. But this time he did not go on the main road. He took all the the the. the unknown road it's all the narrow road the paths which were not often used he was very careful not to go on any uh, prominent road so that no one would see him ivar pooja neram endru adhigalai neram endradalan veetil irundhu thappipadharkku idhu dhaan sariyana tarunam endru kandhiya raghunath dasar poorikku selvadharkku thayaraana வழக்கமாக செல்லுகின்ற பிரதான சாலையில் முக்கிய சாலைகளில் அவர் செல்லவில்லை யாரும் காணாத ரகசியமான குறுக்கு பாதைகளை எல்லாம் நுழைந்து அவர் பூரியை நோக்கி பயணமானார் and then they began to look and then he found out he's gone he's run away from 
So they organize people, go and find them, go and look for them and bring them back. So they sent many men to look for them, but none of them could find them. And they even they met a group of Vaishnavas with Shiva and the same. And they asked Shiva and the same, did you see Raghunath anywhere? And they said, no, we never saw him anywhere. So Raghunath managed to get away from home and he walked all the way to Jagannath Puri. He walked from Navadri all the way to Jagannath Puri. It took him about 12 days. And when he got there to Jagannath Puri, then he was brought before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to him, he said, Oh, he said, you have come, he said, you are very lucky to get free. He said, you were like an animal which has fallen into a pit where people pass through. And usually the animal will fall there, you will never be able to get out. But somehow, by the mercy of Krishna, you have managed to get free. <laughs> So the important point from this past time is that Raghunath Das, when he approached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he could not get free of the material life. So if you go directly to Krishna, you cannot expect to get the support of Krishna. But if you go to Krishna's devotee, just like when Raghunath went to Lord Nityananda, then Lord Nityananda gave mercy to Raghunath Das, and Raghunath was able to get free. The devotees of Krishna are more merciful than Krishna. Krishna Bhagavan Bhaktargan, Krishna Vaibhadaya, Karnei Vaibhadargan. If you do service for the devotees, that will help you get the mercy of Krishna. Bhaktargan, Sevai Sridhar, Krishna Bhagavan Karnei Amadhikadeto. So because Lord Nityananda had done such a nice service for Lord Nityananda, because Lord Raghunath had done such nice service for Lord Nityananda, Lord Nityananda had blessed him and given him the encouragement to get free of material. Saranda Bhaktarana, Nityananda Prabhupada, Saranda Seva Gadai, Raghunath Das Avrgan Siddha Dana Al, Avrgan Karnai, Avrgan Paripurana Maga, Kretadi. So Raghunath was a very strict devotee. He followed all the regular principles, just like lines on a stone. And he lived to a ripe old age. He stayed 
First, he, for some time he stayed in Jagannath Puri, where he associated with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but he was mainly under the shelter of Swarup Namadar Goswami. And if Raghunath wanted to know anything, he would inquire through Swarup Damodar because Swarup Damodar was the secretary of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Raghunath would not go directly to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but he would ask Swarup Damodar and Swarup Damodar would ask Lord Chaitanya. So Raghunath had asked Swarup Namandar to ask Chaitanya Mahaprabhu about what should his duty be. So Lord Chaitanya gave very important instructions. He told him that you should never talk like worldly people and never hear what the ordinary people have to say. And then do not eat opulent food and do not dress in an opulent manner. Constantly chant the holy name of the Lord and keep the Lord in your heart. And Lord Chaitanya then also gave Raghunanda a stone from the Govardhan hill and asked Raghunanda to worship this stone. On the day of the Govardhan Puja, Anakot, then we always have a big festival with the Govardhan Shila and make a big offering. So Raghunatha stayed there in Jagannath Puri so long as Lord Chaitanya appeared. After Lord Chaitanya disappeared, then also Swarup Damodar disappeared, then Raghunatha went to Vrindavan and took shelter of Rupa and Sanatana. <laughs> And then he went to stay at Radha Kund and he stayed there at Radha Kund when there was nothing there. There was only the rice field where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had taken a bath. So Raghunath had come there to Vrindavan. He had not brought any money. He gave up, he left his family, left all the money, he didn't take anything with him. While he was there at Radhakund, he was thinking it would be very nice if there was some money we could make a nice bathing gap at Radhakund. So it happened that one man came. The man was actually going up to Badrik Ashram 
and he was carrying a lot of gold. He wanted to donate it to Badrik Ashram. But what, while he was going up to Badrik Ashram, he had a dream. And in the dream, Krishna appeared to him and told him, Don't take this money to Badrik Ashram. Take it to Radhakund. Radha, Raghunath is there and he needs this gold. You take it to him. So the man came all the way down the Himalayas and he went to Radhakund and he found out Raghunath and he gave him all the gold. Patrick Ashram at the Noki, or Selvandar, Kanade, Anga Grayalam, put the center for the Dar, upon the Krishna Bhagavan, our in Kanabe Thorn Tree, in the Tanga Grayalam, the Patrick Ashram at the Hestilla Day, in the Radha Kunda Til, Pramuna Das, our Lenin Dargel, our in the Padam Kavi for the day, even Trela, Hedit the Chetre, our Gan Puri and Dre, our Purina. And in this way, Raghunath was able to use all that gold to make a very nice, beautiful ghat, as we know there, Radha Kund and Shama Kund. These were built with the wealth, the money which was given to Raghunath. So Raghunath Das moved there and used to worship Radha and Krishna. He would take bath in the Radha Kund three times a day. He was always observed in love of Radha and Krishna. And he was meditating on devotional service in the mood of the Gopi. So Raghunath is actually one of the Manjaris, one of the intimate associates in the past times of Radha And he came to teach us how to engage in devotional services in the mood of uh, austerity by accepting great austerities. He also wrote an important book called Manasiksha, the teachings of the mind. So yesterday was the anniversary of the festival at Panihati. A very wonderful festival. And often many temples they will also celebrate the Shirdai festival. They will arrange plant rice and yoga and they will distribute it to the devotees. So we are praying to Raghunath Das also so that we can also do some service for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission just as he did.
think it's very austere to fast fully on Thursday, but for somebody else, they don't think it's very big a scarcity. They just do it for without thinking about it. They train themselves in that way. In the Katu party, there is one of the one of the Katu party and the Katu party and the Katu party. And similarly sleeping, we may try to reduce our sleeping. And so for somebody else, they don't sleep so much, but some people may sleep a lot and some people may sleep very less. It's a relative thing. Bhagavad Gita Krishna tells us, don't eat too much, don't eat too little, and don't sleep too much or sleep too little. Lord Chaitanya had instructed Dragana that he should not eat opulent food and he should not dress in an extravagant, opulent manner. So opulent food, you know, opulent food means maybe a lot of sweets, maybe you could say, I won't eat any more sweets. But somebody else may say, no, I won't take any any fried food, I will just take plain boiled food. So there's different ways of austerity. In the Kattu Pada, in the Udhana Trikti, Adhikamaga, Sattare, Ilipu Sapadu Dovargal, Ilipel Naan, Ilipai Sapadu Mande, in Badu, Adhikamaga, Adhikamaga, Puritta Unavgalai, Unavgalai, Ilipel Naan, Adhikamaga, Avinta Unavgalai, Unavgalai, and so, as far as dress goes, you know, our dressing is quite simple. We just wear it and go to it and get to the cloth. It's not really extravagant. Some people may wear silk. They may, may wear the finest silk. But, you know, it's up to everyone what standard of renunciation you want to follow. The main thing is to follow the regulated principles and to be strict in our regulated principles and in the chanting of Hare Krishna. <laughs> Austerity is also to go out and preach and distribute Prabhupada's books, to go and meet Jagai and Manhai, to meet the materialistic people and try to give them Krishna consciousness. In the so that is a greater austerity than any amount of fasting or uh, other things of which you deprive the body. He sees Sudama Brahman. Sudama Brahman, he didn't like opulence at all. He shied away from opulence. But Lord Krishna forced him to accept opulence. So, an austerity can be to accept opulence and to use it in the service of Krishna. 
தேவையில் கட்டுப்பாடு என்பது என்னவென்றால் அனைத்தையும் துறந்து விடுவது அல்ல அனைத்தையும் கிருஷ்ண பகவானின் சேவையில் ஈடுபடுத்துவதுதான் உண்மையான கட்டுப்பாடு Just having to deal with well, having to use all the opulence, but having it, just thinking of it all as Krishna's property and for the service of Krishna, that is actually renunciation, as Rupa Goswami describes. Nirvanda Krishna Sambande Yukta Vairagya Uchate Just to use everything in the service of Krishna, that is நமது செல்வம் ஆடம்பரம் அனைத்தையும் கிருஷ்ண சேவையில் ஈடுபடுத்த வேண்டும் இதுதான் நமக்கு இதுதான் கூப்ப கோசுவாமி அவர்கள் நமக்கு கொடுத்திருக்கின்ற கட்டளை கட்டுப்பாடு என்பது அனைத்தையும் கிருஷ்ணரின் சேவைக்காக ஈடுபடுத்துவது தான் energy by using it in krishna self பழுது வைராகியத்தில் நாம் ஈடுபடக் கூடாது பழுது வைராகியம் என்பது போலி வைராகியம் மாயாவாத சந்யாவ மாயாவாத பக்தர்கள் எல்லா செல்வங்களையும் அவர்கள் தொடர்ந்து விடுவார்கள் ஆனால் நாமோ உண்மையான வைராகிகள் அனைத்தையும் பகவானின் சேவைக்காக ஈடுபடுத்துபவர்கள் Sometimes he would use a big car and he would wear sometimes shoes and different things just to show people that he could use opulence in Krishna's service. Now, the king, Srila Bhaktisthan Saraswati Prabhupada, the king, 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 மக்களுக்கு எப்படி இந்த ஆடம்பரங்களை எல்லாம் கிருஷ்ண சேவையில் ஈடுபடுத்த முடியும் என்று காணிப்பதற்காகத்தான் ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகுநாதாஸ்ரகு
can take the picture of me counting the money, and I will spend it all for Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna, we would like to thank uh, His Holiness Bhakti Deepani Masinaj for the moment. Uh, uh, Sinopal Mahdi Pradir, Sinopal Mahdi Pradir, His Holiness Bhakti Deepani Masinaj for the moment. Sinopal Mahdi Pradir, Nandri, 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 Along with His Grace, Govinda Gora Prabhu, for a wonderful translation uh, without the uh, miss of any word. So, Govinda Gora Prabhu, 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 so we have few announcements to be made. 